We'll go to the next um, individual. Let's state your name in the microphone. We can just go around the room, the table, excuse me. Good afternoon, Madam Chair and members. I'm Joe Sweeney, the founder of Court Reform LLC, which is a Bay Area firm that focuses on improving the fairness, transparency, and efficiency of the judicial process. Um, we produce the report that I believe you have um, been given. The Commission on Judicial Performance has one of the most important jobs in the state, which is to protect the public from judicial misconduct and maintain the integrity of California's judiciary. California's 2,200 judicial officers now preside over more than 8 million cases annually, and each one of these cases has a lifelong impact on the persons involved. Therefore, it is of paramount public importance that the Commission fulfills its constitutional mandate. Our research expanded on a 2012 Stanford Law Review article, which, for the first time ever, analyzed the overall discipline trends of the state commissions across the country. We took a closer look and compared California statistics with those of Arizona, Texas, and New York. And the data suggests that California's commission severely under-investigates under-disciplines and misappropriates public funds. For example, the data show that over the past 10 years, Arizona disciplined judges at a rate that was four times that of California, and publicly disciplined judges at a rate that was five times that of California. And this is despite the fact that Arizona's commission has a budget of $500,000 and a staff of four, while California has a budget of $4.3 million with a staff of 22. We thought that maybe Arizona was an outlier, but when we compared California with the next two most populous states, Texas and New York, it became clear that California was actually the outlier. Over the past 10 years, Texas and California received approximately the same number of complaints, but Texas investigated more than three times as many complaints and publicly disciplined more than three times as many judges and removed more than six times as many judges from the bench. Texas's commission budget is $950,000 with a staff of 14. New York's investigation and discipline rates were comparable to Texas, but here's the most glaring difference between California and New York. New York had more than 10 times as many complaints result in judges resigning, retiring, or not running for re-election while complaints were pending against them, 34 versus 358. This is a critical statistic because a judge will most often choose to leave office rather than be publicly disciplined or removed by a commission, but they won't resign or retire if the oversight agency doesn't do anything. New York's budget is $5.5 million, but this is to maintain three separate offices in New York City, Albany, and Rochester, and employ a staff of 45. To compare the relative budget efficiencies of the commissions, we simply took the total commission budget in 2014 and divided by the total number of inquiries and investigations, and the results were equally disparate. $1,500 for Texas, $8,500 for New York, and $23,500 for California. This gives you a decent relative comparison. These are not 20 or 30 percent differences that I'm describing. They are massive disparities across the board, and we hope that this committee is as concerned as many of us in this room that the commission is not fulfilling its constitutional mandate. Given the recent scathing state auditor's report on the Judicial Council, it seems that an audit would be a good place to start with the Commission before agreeing to increase their budget. Thank you.